name is um, Aushala Michael Angelo. I'm a Nigerian and I'm a painter. This is my studio. As you can see, I'm, I'm a realist painter. I mean, a realism painter. I paint you know, on realistic paintings. I do with portraitures and uh, other kinds of art. Majorly painting, and I do. I work with pencils and I do pencil sketches. Far back as many years ago, I remember when my mom said I started painting. I started drawing. She discovered the talent in me at the age of four. By seven, I started drawing. You know, when you draw for your mates in school, in the, the nursery school, when they give you assignments, they give you some assignment and you draw for them and you get some, <laughs> some petty change. So that's when I started making small, small for myself. So when I got to the secondary school, I joined the art class because I discovered I'm not in for calculation and uh, the stress of science and everything. So I just went into the art class because I enjoyed the, the freedom of art, the freedom in art. So I started drawing and when it was in, when I was in my secondary school, I happened to be, be the best art student in my class. And even in the school, I once represented the school, the Lagos State um, drawing competition. Years ago, I can't really remember the particular year. But that was still when I was in my junior secondary school. So I've been doing this for years now. Um, I could say professionally I've been doing this if I'm not exaggerating. I've been doing this um, since 2011. That would be about 10 to 11 years now that I've been doing this uh, professionally. And uh, no other work, no other form of um, employment. I've never worked elsewhere only if I um, because I remember I was a, um, a studio um, artist in a place where I was um, the in-house artist I was the in-house artist and uh, I taught some schools but definitely in hearts everything I do is just surrounded around that the industry is a very very wide one I mean very big and it's magnanimous, I mean very kind, open, free for everybody. Because in my own um, feeling about art, I feel I see art as a as a freedom of expression. Because every human is entitled to his own individual individualism. Like the way you think is different from the way I think. I might think this way, you think this way. So far you are going to be creative in it. As a fine artist, a creative mind. People are expected to see me in a different way and I'm expected to see people in a different way. So the industry is so large, there's no way you can tell me you are not doing anything. You have to be creative. Production of art every day, I think is enough job and employment for individuals. Because myself, I discovered this talent and I went professionally with it, into it. So I've never for one day. Um, seeing myself on my blood. I'm always busy every day. I'm just busy every day. And um, when you are busy every day, that means um, you're sure going to get credit a lot, definitely. So that's a job for you. There's um, there is a space for everyone. It's just like the sky. The industry is like a sky. No bed has ever eat each other. And uh, I mean, there has never been a collision in the sky, definitely. The art industry is very big because it comes into creative art, um, music, textile design, ceramics, the industrial part of the art, the creative part of the art. Join some people basically specialize in pencil, some specialize only in portrait, some people specialize in oil colors, acrylic, gouache, watercolor. In fact, there are millions of things you can develop in art. There are one what you can gather from this and this. My very self, aside of um, this painting, I do some furniture, homemade furniture for myself, furniture for myself, my shelf, my table. Just creative design. Think of any other thing. So, 
the the job availability is there. It's very 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 flexible and friendly. The country is not friendly. <laughs> the economic situation of the country is not really friendly to this um, art industry. Starting from your source for materials, things are cost here every day. Because I discovered that um, you barely, we barely produce things in this country for our art materials, our colors. We can't get the best quality. My very self, I use green soil and melting oil colors. Definitely, they are not produced in this country. The two ones that they produce that, that are major, the ones that are made in France and the one that is made in China. The ones that are made in China used to be, I remember back in 2000 and, uh, I think, 15, 2015, they used to sell a tube of color for, uh, I think, 800 now. Now, that same paint is sold for 2,500 now as we speak, compared to the price of a uh, dollar exchange rate to Naira. That's one. The environment, you know, when people come, they think uh, you can still produce more, sell this for me for a stipend, you can still produce more, but they've forgotten that we don't produce this material ourselves. If the art materials could be like uh, wind or water that are replenish, as in replenish able, if it's an English word, it, we, can do, we can do any art, but you know, you have to sit and think. The brain is going to definitely wear out one day when you are lost of idea, when you keep on walking, you're walking and um, the environment is not just friendly. Um, getting materials, particularly the way you think, the economy of the country, cost of transportation, cost of getting a studio space, that is your choice because I can see this place, I still feel it's very small for me. If left to me, I, I would get a space as big as, um, as big as a hall for my studio space because I have a lot of things to do. But this place is just too small and it limits the size of work you can do compared to the inter our international counterparts. My clients, I do some inter internet um, adverts. I play some ad on Instagram, on Facebook, and on WhatsApp. So I feel today the world has been a global village. Wherever, wherever you post here in Abuja, definitely someone is going to see it in South Africa, in America, Europe, Australia, and further because I have um, sent my jobs to countries like the United States. And uh, I've sent work to Missouri, sent work to Texas, um, Japan, I've sent work to Europe, the UAE as well, Dubai, Qatar, and um, some African countries. I think my first job that left this country was from Egypt. And uh, the client came from a Facebook friend. Also, Facebook made me get my job sent to the United States. But my very self, I do my, um, I get my clients, my client base is from my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and every other social media open to the internet. Uh, I wouldn't say one is better than the other, and I wouldn't say one is, uh, one is not good. What I would just say is change is constant. There's an adage that says 20 boys can never play for 20 years. It's an African adage, which means that you don't expect to be in the same position for the rest of your life. Yes, because we that place was established. It was established, it's been there for over 20, 15 years, I think, if I'm not mistaken, for 15 years now. So you can't compare what has been established for 15 years to what has just been developing but to glory of God we are really doing well here yeah. we are really doing well because if we aren't doing well we don't still be here we don't still be here because you can see the development when you came it's a rapid development that's why it says change is constant anything could happen what if this place is to exist tomorrow we will definitely know that we will still get a place and develop and um, I believe development is from human development environmental development 
originally exist and starts from human development. When you yourself you feel you are developed, the environment is going to be developed. Yeah, I want to tell my colleagues out there, starting from Nigeria, from home, you guys are doing well. We are all doing well. We are all doing well because to, 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 to think of it, for you still there drawing, painting every day, you are really trying. We are really trying. Don't give up. It may look like uh, the country is not convenient for you. But wait, don't, 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 don't depend on the country. Don't depend on the government. Don't depend on your environment. Just keep doing what you do every day. I believe something is going to be great. All you just have to do is think of an exhibition. Because my very self, um, I have an upcoming exhibition by 12th of, 12th of August. It's a group exhibition. I am in an art movement um, called the Elbow Room. So our exhibition is coming on. It's a traveling exhibition, two exhibitions, two to three exhibitions in Abuja, and uh, we are thinking of Lagos and another place I would not like to disclose now. What I want to say is just, even if it's a solo exhibition, or you gather yourself like 10 artists, if people can set up an exhibition, let people know you. If it's not about the sale, it's about the, the client's base, the exposition, and let the whole world know what to do. And for my colleagues outside the country, other countries of Africa, as well, we are all doing well. We have to see ourselves as one. Don't believe um, you can't do it. No, there's nothing like we can't. We definitely can make it. And let me tell us that without us, the world is just like a law, it's, it's, it's void, it's in void. Because art shapes the world. As the word A-R-T, heart, is in the word E-A-R-T, heart. We are the heart of the world. We are the core and the most important ingredient in making life a better place. Because even God himself, the father of creativity, the Bible says that in the beginning the world was null, null and void. Nothing. It's just like an empty canvas. But when God came, the Spirit of the Lord over the top surface of water and made something, said, let there be light, let there be this, and everything became beautiful. And at the end, at the end he says, and he saw that everything he has created was beautiful. That is, God is the master artist. So make yourself happy, make the world a better place, and don't stop doing what you do. And for the upcoming artists too, draw every day. Don't stop doing it. I remember my sketch pad had been a good thing for me. Get a sketch pad and do something every day. Every day. Keep doing.